Okay, we are here on Fremont Street on June 9, 2023, and we're looking for people that don't know much about air conditioning. What do you know about air conditioning, sir? Uh, nothing. Keeps you cool, and that's about it. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> and what's your name? Angel. Marlene. Okay, Angel and Marlene confirm they're not experts in air conditioning. Marlene, any mechanical skills at all? Absolutely none. <laughs> all right, so they're perfect for what we're going to show, which is that we can install, they'll be able to install an air conditioner in less than five minutes. In terms of, not the installation, but the connection in less than five minutes, okay? So let's go for a little walk. So what brings you guys to uh, Las Vegas? Uh, we just graduated college, so we came it, for this adult trip. Yeah. You look, you look too young. Marlene, you look like you're 16. No, I'm 21. Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment, though. Yeah. 21. Okay, great. So you're of legal age. That's great. Yes. yes. <laughs> so the Air School headquarters is around 10-minute, 8-minute walk up the street. You'll get to see a little bit of colorful area of, uh, of downtown Las Vegas here. So what, where are you guys going to school? We just finished up at UC Merced. UC Riverside. I was down. Oh, UC Merced. Merced. I don't know. I have no idea even where Merced is. Is it? It was one middle of California. So Merced is like uh, north of Bakersfield. Yeah, like it. Yeah, our yeah, our two north. Near Fresno. Okay. Thursday and Friday. What are your What were your majors? Uh, for me, psychology. And for me, it's human biology. But we're interested in medical school, so okay. that's wonderful. We need we need more doctors. <laughs> yeah, and good ones too. <laughs> so you drove here, or did you fly out of Fresno? There are flights yeah. on Allegiant from, uh, like I think from. Uh, it's pretty cheap, like forty bucks, better than gas. On, uh, on Allegiant. Yeah, on, on Allegiant. Forty dollars free night at the hotel. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, that's nice. $40 round, round trip on Allegiant, right? Yeah. And it's hard to get to Fresno because there's something called a mountain range okay. in, the, in the way. So It's only an hour from us. So pretty yeah. quick, 55 minutes. Yeah. Where'd you guys meet? Uh, we met on Zoom University. <laughs> oh, Zoom? Yeah. We were both in the same like medical organization. And so one night, I was pretty good at my physics homework, and she was uh, having a little trouble, and I was like, oh, well, we could have some private tutoring sessions online. And then, <laughs> then I shot my shot, and then, yeah, here we are today, two years later. So come on in, uh, Marlene, close the door. So, Uh, this unit right now, it's uh, it's an air spool, solar powered hybrid mini split unit, and it's not turned on at all. You know why it's not turned on? Because we're gonna turn it on. You're gonna you're gonna be the one to turn it on. Maybe Marlene will be the one to turn it on. <laughs> okay, but you're both gonna connect it. The reason it's not turned on, it hasn't been connected yet. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So um, the first step, this is what's called a refrigerant line set. Okay, and so there are two lines. This one's the uh, liquid line, this one's the gas line. So, um, or this is the uh, high pressure and this is the low pressure line. So, well, you're gonna, by the thickness of this copper here, so you're going to match this copper here, uh, the thinner one on the thinner, and screw it together. And if you want, um, whoever wants to do it, but you can use this glove or not, because it's a little bit, these, this is the new concept here, these um, self-sealing connectors. So this is full of refrigerant, the, the lines here, and these lines are full of refrigerant. So you don't have to do any, normally in the installation, you'd need to do a vacuum pump and all this other stuff. But it, it adds three or four hours, but... Um, but Angel, you're gonna do this right now. You can choose to wear, be Michael Jack and Jackson and wear the one glove, assuming, are you right-handed? Yeah, yeah. All right, put the glove on if you want, it'll be a little bit easier. Probably could have found a set. So take the thinner, the, that first line, 
and then connect it to the thin line, which happens to be the one on the bottom. And so right now, it's around 431, so we're kind of starting this at 431. And it has to be perfectly perpendicular, but you can't, you don't, the good news about these cell sealers, you don't need to worry about um, them cross-threading because they are uh, steel, they're not, they're not copper or brass. So, so far so good? You just keep twisting? It, yes, it's, th this is, a, the, it t seems like it's gonna take forever and it does take a while because, th but the flip side is this process normally would take multiple hours and you're doing it in the, you know, this is, the, of the three minutes, this is two minutes, but we'll get there. I haven't really timed this, but we're gonna time it right now. You can time it from the, the video, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll time it from the video, too. Seems pretty tight. Okay, tighten it, is it all the way? Yeah, yeah let's. A little bit more, there you go. All right, do it all the way. Yep. Okay, now do the other one. Yeah, right. Uh, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. So do it. Uh, turn it the other way. I turn it the other way. So it's. Uh, so do it. Uh, in effect, do it clockwise. But it's going relatively easy, right? There's a little muscle, maybe. Involved. Do that part quick because there's still, we're, we're going to add some uh, POE, poly, poly oleester oil, and that will keep it, but there's like a, uh, I'll do it all the way. Angel, 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 angel. It, this part's not easy, but it's a lot easier than the alternative, which is... Um, which is having to do the vacuum uh, test and the and the nitrogen testing and the vacuum uh, pump and um, and the uh, getting gauges and all that stuff. So, all right, I think you're good. Okay, so that was the hard parts. Uh, that's three quarters of the work. Now you're going to become an electrician. Now you're becoming an electrician and. Uh, uh, Marlene can do, uh, how about, you did the hard part, let her do the easy part. <laughs> All right. All right, get in here, Marlene. You're, uh, take this one. Mm -hmm. This is the communication control wire. Mm -hmm. And this, this top black part, screw this onto that part right up there. Mm -hmm. And Todd will try and get you in the video. It has to rotate it around a little bit until it lines, it has to line up. You'll notice there are pins, but it only fits one way, but if you twist it, there you go, now you're pushed in, so now twist, uh, push and twist at the same time. Push, push, in. Uh, push, uh, push, in. Uh, push, push in and then twist, uh, righty. You'll go in once you get it lined up. There's no way to screw it up. There you go. Now push in and twist. Yep. You'll feel it lock. Push in harder, a little bit more. Seven. No, it'll it only like a quarter turn. So it's only like a quarter turn, it's not but lined up right yet. You still got to get it lined up. Angel, you know what is? All right. Well, we're calling in the designated hitter. It, the pins, it you'll just, feel it. you'll feel it. There, it, there's only one way, but, and then it needs to be, when you, when you um, twist it around, and then it'll, I think you got it right there, maybe, Angel. Now turn the, now turn the uh, black part clockwise. All right, so that, you've just hooked up the, so behind the scenes, folks, there are um, multiple wires that need to be connected to the um, terminal block in here that's already been done for. Uh, Angel, Angel, are you grateful that you didn't have to connect all those wires, electrical yes. wires inside there? That's all you had to do? Just one wire. And the same way in, inside here, there are also that, 
communication control wire has to be threaded through here and each wire needs to be connected to the communication control block and that takes it takes probably half an hour for Todd to do it right when you say Todd yeah. and Todd knows what he's doing okay and then the last step uh, second to last step uh, attach in this case we'll do this step next attach these red and black wires uh, and the they're gonna look this is to the uh, DC disconnect so the ones that oh Whoops, <laughs> we, I, 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 I spoke too soon. So we connected them right here, but we'll disconnect them uh, right now. Todd, will, Todd has a way to do it with his hands. There you go. Okay, take the, um, you know, normally we include a tool, by the way, for uh, such uh, eventualities that people disconnect them where they don't want to disconnect them. We have an M MC4 disconnect tool, but uh, connect this on the bottom here, the one that looks different than this one. So this is a male connected to the female. And push it in, does it push in? Yep. Locked, yeah. push, okay. Locked. Now, do the, uh, now do the red one. Okay, and then you would, this is already turned on, it would be in the off position, but you turn it on when you wanted to release the solar. And uh, we'll have Marlene do the last step, which I think for sure she can handle, which is actually plugging in the electrical cord to that outlet. Now, normally it would go in uh, here, but this is a dummy one, so we have, uh, we have some live power uh, here. All right, and now, one of you guys, together, togetherness, Push the, uh, the one zero button, the um, orange button, and point it at the unit here. It's, looks like it was powering on. Give it a second. There it goes. 72. You want it even colder than that? 78. Put it down to uh, 72, make sure it comes on. Not that we're anywhere near seven, it's probably 80 in here right now because uh, the air conditioning is on full right now, but. Okay, so we're right, right now we are, um, I promise five minutes, but we're really, uh, we're about uh, eight minutes into this at this point, I think. Uh, but. Push this, uh, put this over by the, pointing at the coil, and then Todd will film the temperature that's coming out of there. So it's going down, it's gonna take a minute to go down, but point it at the, uh, so it's 70, it's 67, Todd, film yourself while you're doing it. So it's 67, and then film the wall, uh, um, so it, go, it, it takes probably one or two minutes to get uh, the coil to be cold. But, so that's all it will take, too, uh, when, you, uh, when you get this set up, a uh, minute or two for it to start getting cold. A little bit longer the first time it's set up. But All right, and what's the temperature of this wall right here, Todd, just for comparison's sake, or of Angel's forehead? So it's not bad. It's 72... Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, but now our coil, our coil is down to. Okay, the the coil is now uh, pretty chilly temperature. So, All right, it's good. Seems consistent, Todd. All right, so that's it. Did that seem pretty easy? I mean, did you did you did, would you agree with me? You didn't really have to know that much about how to hook up a mini split. <laughs> nope. But we could have. We could have. We'll, we'll come up with the, when we write the manual. We'll try and make it how to actually line those pins. Pretty much, if you push in. They, they'll, they'll, they will move eventually into place, so yeah, they're really... Just stating that you just have to align them, it should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, align, or maybe just if you push, they should be self-aligning, but we'll, 
we'll make sure that uh, uh, for that Marlene uh, in in her uh, friends who get who get one of these units can be able to do it. So, um, thank you guys very much. Appreciate your time. Yep. Yeah. Easy, easier than putting together a shelf or something. <laughs> yeah, easier than putting together a shelf. So that's uh, <laughs> that's wonderful. Appreciate your time.